Hey guys, I just wanted to show you my new ideas for uh, for the little uh, pins. Before I used to do the little hole, like after, before it was completely hardened, I would make a little hole in the center in the ear. And I don't like that idea anymore. I don't think it looks good. And plus, I used some of my resin pieces for uh, for hair bows and keychains and other stuff. So that doesn't look that great. It kind of takes away from the whole um, resin piece, I guess you could say. So first I started with this little circle here. Um, and I glued this on here to the back. And then I... Um, kind of coated this a little bit with just a little bit of uh, resin and I really didn't like the way this looked so I was, um, so I'm not going to do that again I was just trying it out the second thing I did was I went ahead and used this earring pin and I did not glue it I just put resin and then I just put that in there so it's pretty embedded in there and it's fine it's not going to go anywhere but it looks kind of ugly and uh, so yeah I didn't like that idea. Then I went ahead and did the whole L shape. I got a little pin. So this is a little pin that I use. And this is an earring pin that's been cut up probably. I can probably get like two pieces from a regular earring pin. And so I make it an L shape like this. And in the resin, I go ahead and put it like this on the resin. And then once it's completely dry, then I grab my little, uh, this little needle nose, I think it's called. I'm not sure what it's called. And I go ahead and make my little circle so it could be, um, so I could hang it, right? And so you could see it a little bit in there. And in this one, I did it the other way around because of the, the thinness of this one. They ordered some, um... What are these called? Angry Birds, but with very thin layers. So I went ahead and did it like this, and it came out in the front. But even then, that doesn't look as bad as the others. You know, the hole and stuff. You can you still have a whole square. And I haven't glossed these yet, so that's why. And here's another one. See, it comes out like this. And it pops right out of the silicone mold. And there's a little thing there, and then I just make my little circle coming this way. So there's that one that I made. And then I made some strawberry ones, and the strawberry ones worked out really great. You can't even, if you're like this, you can't see them. But if you turn it, you can clearly see it, and that's that. those came out pretty cool. The only thing I messed up is that I didn't realize that the strawberry had, like, these little things here so it kind of takes away from the little hello kitty picture i should have put the hello kitty picture more down but i didn't realize it had that so i was trying to center it but uh either way i think it'll look all right because it's strawberry it does have the little things i don't know if y'all can see that so yeah and then i made some uh flower ones and the same thing here uh, i don't know if you guys you can see it there, the L shape, and uh, I think that's all I did. Let me see. Here's another one that I made in the L shape, and this is a Jack Skellington one that came out a little bit messed up because the Jack kind of tilted a little bit with the resin, and then the glitter kind of got weird on me but that's fine I'll keep that for myself and then the last one is another Hello Kitty one also I'll show anyways guys I just wanted to show you the different ways um, that I do the pins that I'm starting to do the pins I was going to start making them like this but I decided not to I decided to um, I think this way is the best way maybe even the l shape i should have put the l shape going sideways like here instead of down but um i don't know why i didn't think of that next time i think i'll put it going sideways anyways guys thanks for